so with the whole rebranding everything i haven't really had time to make a a new intro um so here's my regular one damn Alright, what's good everybody? Uh, it's your boy, your humble and gracious host, Sleep Sensei, and we're here for the sleep news. This is episode one. We're outside of the pilot, we're back again. we in the studio, as you can see. Right, so some of you can probably guess what I'm going to be talking about if you haven't already read the title. We're going to be talking about Mortal Kombat 11, real briefly. And the thing that's going to take up the majority of this is the Xbox Series X Showcase and Ubisoft. We'll save Ubisoft for last because we'll save it for last. But Mortal Kombat 11. Um, if you didn't know already, we're getting aftermath. We're getting an extension to the story, and we're getting some new characters. Um, if you haven't seen uh, what it's about already, you can go click my video over that way. Oi, you better fuck that feature. You better air. And uh, you can go check it out there. Um, but basically, long story short, new story expansion. Um, we're getting a little bit extra story. Um, Shang Tsung's playing a little bit more of a role. Um, I think Fujin shows up, Shiva shows up, and um, those are the two uh, extra characters that we're getting on top of. Yeah, why me crack that Robocop? Yeah, man, like Robocop. So it's going to be available on the 26th of May, um, and it's going to be $34.99 um, in the UK. So if you want to go get it, I'm going to go get it. So moving swiftly on. The Xbox Series X showcase. Now, Xbox. The only thing you showcased was that Sony might wash you again in this generation race. <laughs> the next one, because... <laughs> Boy, that showcase was whack! whack listen you started off great right you started off here and you ended somewhere on the floor below me the games that were showcased were um bright Mem bright memory infinite uh, no, bright memory infinite dirt 5 scorn chorus the ascent the medium scarlet nexus uh second extinction reclaim earth yakuza like a dragon uh call of the sea uh, Vampire, The Masquerade, Bloodlines 2, um, Madden 21. Yeah, I think those are all the games that they showcase. And then Assassin's Creed Valhalla, but that's going to be its own separate section at the end of this. Um, the only games here worth talking about really are Bright Memory Infinite, uh, Chorus, uh, Call of the Sea is basically Sea of Thieves with a story. Um, Scorn was already... Scorn was meant to come out like ages ago, but it just never showed up. Um, Dirt 5, it's Dirt 5, Chorus looks interesting from the trailer that they showed us, uh, and I won't lie, Scorn just looks bare weird, like, there was, there was a penis, I think, and it busted a nut, and there was a creepy pregnant demon alien, I don't know, if that's what, if that's what you're into, that's what you're into, we don't shame around here, if that's what you're into, pff, go for it, um, the Ascent was a little, looked like a little twin stick, top down isometric shooter. That looked interesting. Um, <sighs> Scarlet Nexus was a little, looked like a little JRPG. Uh, listen, there is not much to say about any of these. The only, the only game that was, the only game from this whole lineup um, that's worth talking about, like Bright Memory Infinite basically kind of looks like a whole crisis rebirth. Um, it looks pretty good. Um, you know, it showed us it showed us gameplay. Um, what I showed us gameplay. Um, I think Chorus showed us a little bit of gameplay. Um, the medium was a cinematic trailer, so we didn't see any gameplay from that. There really wasn't anything super crazy with this lineup. Um, the only things I think people paid attention to were Bright Memory, um, maybe Chorus, because Chorus actually looked kind of cool. Um, I'm into the, the futuristic shit. Um, main character looked like Wraith. Um, you tell me. Um, the medium looked like 
a pregnancy simulator. Like that was just, was all it all it showed was this chick was pregnant and it was drag me to hell. It looked like drag me to hell mixed with pregnancy. <laughs> Boom, that's their love child, the medium. Now, you'll notice that I was saying gameplay a lot, and I've left one game out. Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Now, Ubisoft, now I'm talking to you. Why are you lying again? We've been through this already. With Destiny, you lied. You left the DLC on the disc and blocked everybody from getting it. So you lied about that. When Watch Dogs was in E3 and we saw what it looked like, and then we saw what it actually, what we actually got as the final product, and then also you hid the HD packages in the game, you lied again. So when you decide to call Assassin's Creed Valhalla a gameplay trailer, take example from Bright Memory Infinite, please. Because that was a gameplay trailer. What you showed us was like, hey, I've got my feet off the ground and I'm in a chair that has wheels on it. Therefore, I'm a car. You did that. That that wasn't a that wasn't no real gameplay trailer. What people were exp if you called it a game engine trailer like IGN did, like I'm gonna flash it up there, boom, like IGN did. You're not gonna bamboozle people into thinking that they're gonna see what. Because when people say game, when people hear gameplay, they think of what they will see, most likely, or or a gameplay trailer is supposed to show you a lot of mechanics. So when you decide to, to be all like, oh, you know what, we'll call it a gameplay trailer and show, listen, I'm going to show you guys how much of this was gameplay. That's it. That's everything else was either was a cutscene, which ain't gameplay or an in-game cutscene, which also isn't gameplay. Ubisoft, fix your shit. Like, stop lying to people. Call it a game engine trailer and be done with it. Because at this point, your social standing with gamers is pretty low. Like, you've been coming off of L's. Like, a lot of people, quite a few people, didn't like um, Odyssey because apparently they they said it was too big. Um, and some people just didn't like it. Me personally, I'm not the hugest fan of the Assassin's Creed franchise purely because. We can save that for another video. I'm not gonna get into that, but let's just say me and Assassin's Creed have got a the don't, don't we we ain't on speaking terms like that. Um, but yeah, Ubisoft, you're com you're coming off at L's. Like, I think your best thing right now might be just Rainbow Six Siege. And I'm pretty sure even then you probably lied you probably lied about it before it come out. So a message to a message to all developers. Stop with their lies. We, we, we ain't got time for that. All right, everybody. So that's it. That's my time. Um, thank you for tuning in. If you haven't already, make sure that you're subscribed, like the video, share, comment, do all of that stuff. If you haven't already, go follow me on Twitch. I'm, all, I'm active on there. I'm probably going to stream a little bit. I've been I'm playing some Mortal Kombat, so I'm, so I'm ready for when Aftermath comes out. So hit me up on that. Uh, all the socials, they're in the description below as well. Um, thank you for tuning in. It's been The Sensei. I'm out. Peace.